Oh my gosh, guys. Leagues four. Wow. I have no idea what to expect. I'm going into this blind. I have not watched any videos or anything about this. I uh, do know about the first starting relics, however. And I believe we're going to go with the magic one. This is also very weird for me because I have not logged into old school RuneScape for literally over a year. It is just insane how much different the games are, even though they are the same game. Graphics are completely different. Gameplay is completely different. Pretty crazy. So this is kind of like the previous league. You, I'm assuming you do tasks to unlock areas. Oh yeah, it says right there. New areas are unlocked by using tasks. Nice. Learn how to read, idiot. The area selection menu can be used to easily track your progress toward the next unlock. Ten different areas in Leagues 4. But you can only unlock five. Wow, okay. First area, Kingdom of, of Miss Thalon. Automatically unlocked. Now we can unlock our second area. Okay, that was uh, pretty quick. So I assume you must just get free teleports to the area. Oh, you have to unlock Karamja. Okay. Why does it even give you the option? I don't understand that. Okay. Oh, this is really tough. Decisions, decisions. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get Globetrotter. That's a fact. I'm going to do Production Prodigy. All right, let's go bank this stuff and we're going to get started on, on some quests. Not quests. Tasks. The first thing I'm going to go do is mine and fish. I guess actually I should look at what my tasks are. Range, pickpocket a hand member, Varrock tea stall. Okay, so I think we're going to fish until we get up to anchovy because that's a task as well. And that should not take too long whatsoever. Well, our cooking's already level 13 technically, so we shouldn't have too much trouble cooking these shrimps at all. I can't get over the fact of how insane it is that these games are just completely different. Like, so, so different. The graphics are completely different. Gameplay, everything. And see, the tutorial in RuneScape 3 isn't even the same as it is in old school. So you kind of lose that nostalgia factor. So coming back to old school after a year, even though it's uh, going to take some getting used to, it is pretty nice to have that feeling back. There's our first level five. Very nice. Oh, man, I was going to say somebody already has the gauntlet pet. But then I remembered that you can get your old pets from prior leagues. I was going to say, holy crap, already? That'd be pretty nuts. The leagues have only been out for like three hours, four hours. Oh, that's another thing. Random events no longer exist in RuneScape 3. Oh, I also forgot that I think I'm going to cook all these in one action, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and see. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. That's freaking insane. Wow. Oh, you can't drag to drop out of inventory either? Oh, man. I think you can shift-click drop, though, right? Which is funny, because I thought that I wouldn't be able to get used to the drag and drop, but I got used to that fairly quickly. So hopefully the rhythm of the shift drop comes back to me, as well as everything else that I have to like relearn, essentially anyway, in this game mode. Well, after some chatting with the community here, it seems nobody thinks Globetrotter is a good way to go. I mean, I guess because you can just do construction and make all these teleports in the POH. So endgame, it probably isn't that relevant. I changed my mind. I'm going Fairy's Flight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Didn't take much convincing. I also skipped the part where it teleports you to any spirit tree or leprechaun in the game. And you can wield it in your offhand. That's actually pretty freaking helpful. So that is going to be the relic that we unlock rather than globe trotter. One more level for those anchovies. We probably will see it with the end of this inventory. Ooh, man. Getting pretty excited here. I need three more fish. But I really want to cook on that fire. Yeah, real quick. I'm going to... Gonna do it. Boom, 3,300. Successfully cook five pieces of food. Very nice, easy tasks. One thing that's super nice about RuneScape 3 mining is the ores do not deplete. That should be good for now. Also having the uh, movement abilities is super nice. I'm trying to surge and run, but I can't do that here. Oh wow, that's super insane too. The quest helper, I forgot about that. Oh my God, that is so good. That was a task as well. Very nice. Here's your ingredients. 24 cooking. What are you doing on my land? Give me your land. Thank you for the crafting experience. 
We'll go smelt a bronze bar real quick. I'm not sure what a potato tree is. It says there's one in the field up here. Is it just the field in the potato area, which is why they call it a potato tree? But it would help if I had an axe. I, I do need to go get my axe. And that's another thing that's going to take some getting used to is no tool belt. I don't understand why School RuneScape does not have that. Two more cooking levels and we can churn some butter as well. I do have a task list pulled up separate on a browser right here. It does make this a little bit easier. We must already have Lost City completed, huh? Fairytale 1 and 2, Lost City is done. Okay, sweet. Oh, it's pretty insane that I got four balls of wool off of that one inventory because that's exactly how many I need getting Ned to make me a rope. So that's pretty cool. I don't think that the uh, RuneScape 3 community would do this. I gotta say the old school community is, is so much better than the RuneScape 3 community. You go to wilderness events or anything, any populated world, and do any public event that's heavily populated. There are so many freaking toxic people in RuneScape 3. I just, most of the time, I just turn chat off because I don't like listening to it. Two tasks there. Chop a log and chop a potato log. Why is this guy still here? Walk over to this chair. Who's a good chair? Come on, chair. Oh, I forgot about the run, too. Oh, no shot. Everybody's got a limited run. Heck yeah. What do we need agility for? And in RuneScape 3 pickpocketing, it literally is just automatic. So it sits here and just auto pickpockets until you fail. Wish that was a thing in old school, but I can't take all the luxuries out of RuneScape 3 and just wish they were here in uh, old school, I suppose. There's a reason why RS3 is called EasyScape. It is a lot more AFK friendly and a lot more convenience friendly. Okay, there it was. Open 28 pouches at once. There's our 200 GP. Trade Bob. Thank you for the steel axe, Bob. I have to chop a tree with a steel axe. That is a challenge as well. 125 experience per tree. That's pretty nuts. There's our 15 woodcutting for the oak. Oh, there's one on this crate too. I, I was wondering. For some reason, I thought there was one, but I always doubted myself. Okay, really? I tried to pick it up through the wall. That's a good move there, bud. Let's go buy a tinderbox real quick. I know I have one in the bank, but in proper old school fashion, the rule is to stack tinderboxes in the bank. I don't know if you guys knew that, but that is 100% a rule. Anytime you need one, you just buy a new one. Now, there is a new skill um, tied to woodcutting called forestry, which I have no idea anything about it at all. Okay, there is our 16... Well, 15 fire making, but we actually got 16. Go ahead and burn this oak log. Okay, there was a task for both Diary and the League. So next we are going to go... Well, we did a lap of the uh, agility course as well. Wow, we got 12 from that. Holy crap. Right, we're going to go um, fish and get that cooking up. 22 experience for bones. Oh, that was a task as well. Heck yeah. And then defense can come not too long after that. Maybe we should go smith all of our armor and stuff. We should train up our mining. I felt like that's always been the best way to experience old school. Especially since I have that feeling of coming back. It's just nice to like be able to smith your own armor and stuff, you know? I do like the uh, smithing and mining in RuneScape 3 much better than the stuff in the smith and mining in old school so actually what i want to do before i get mining i do want to get my thieving up to at least level 15 for the female ham followers and then i can get myself a steel pickaxe which will be a very nice upgrade from the bronze pickaxe we probably could have kept some of that food in our inventory you live and you learn that's all right we'll get some before we go down to the ham hideout who's hiding ham i love ham yeah, that's a, it's a weird abbreviation for me. I never really knew what it stood for until I actually, you know, paid attention to the dialogue in the quests. Humans against monsters. We're going to go get our four balls of wool from the bank. Have Ned make us some rope. Ned, make me some rope. Thank you, Ned. Cross our fingers on these clue scrolls. Hopefully we can get something nice. That's a pretty cool teleport animation. I do like that. Oh, we even got a challenge for that. Right on. We can also start uh, 
Vampire Slayer here because we have to go to Varrock for that as well. So I'll talk to Ned, start Vampire Slayer, then go talk to the wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. A what? A wizard. Third lap, and there's our Mark of Grace. Let's pick up that bad boy for a task. Boom. RuneScape 3 is severely lacking in the agility department. There's like no courses to train at. It's freaking nuts. You're stuck on like one course for training. Literally. It's... Somebody drop seeds on this roof. Potato seeds. We're going to come back around. There's just going to be a potato plant right there. Heh. <laughs> Turn around, every now and then I get a little bit something and I don't know the words. Turn around, bright eyes. Sick freestyle. And I need you now tonight. And I need you now more than ever. How to keep yourself entertained doing rooftop agility one-on-one. -on -one. I also am playing uh, RuneScape 3 Client on the side though, <laughs> yeah. I'm so addicted to the dopamine that RuneScape gives when I'm leveling. Oh, it was a task to complete 10 laps of the Draenor Agility. Once I thought about it, yeah, definitely better to, to uh, go with the Fairy Ring one other than the Amulet. <clears throat> it's a good thing that I talked to the good old community. Dude, I'm not sure why all these songs keep getting stuck in my head. Like now, from the movie Hot Chicks, when Terry Crews is singing, Making my way downtown. <laughs> Man, I don't even know like half the words, but the songs still get stuck in my head somehow. But you know what? If it happens to me, it's going to happen to you guys. Anybody who's listening. Hello? Are you listening? I swear to God, I don't have ADD. I guess there's a task to insult uh, Aggie the Witch, too. Oh, here we go. You mad old witch, you can't help me. There we go, okay. <laughs> we can talk to the wise old man and see what kind of task he gives us because we get 40 points for completing one of his tasks as well. Bones. Oh, we got a task for defeating a goblin too, wow. <laughs> he gave me a strawberry seed and three onion seeds. Now let's go ahead and unlock Aries flight. There we go. Oh, now we don't need our shield because we have a mushroom in our hand. I have the power. All right, there is our 40. That's our first level 40 as well. And then let's go ahead and pickpocket this guard right here. 40 points right there for that as well. 250 total level there for another task. Well, I definitely forgot about the dark wizards. Yeah. Uh, Two HP left. We almost got murdered. There's another task done. Mine 10, 10 ore. Not sure why you don't get one for copper. A little challenge completed there for fletching some arrow shafts. Man, I remember back in the day when I had first started playing RuneScape, first source of my 100k was literally chicken feathers. Yeah, that's right. Chicken feathers. People used to buy them like 15 GP each. And I had like a stack of 10,000 or something just from killing chickens, man. Literally just killed chickens until I got 100k cash. I was so young and naive. It does not do it all at once. That's kind of annoying. Well, this is not going to be a good source of food then. It takes way too long. Rune Mysteries completed. 40 points for that. Wow. Okay, nice. I don't understand why it doesn't do this in one action. I don't know, maybe that's just something they overlooked. Who knows? 38.6k attack experience. Instantly 40 attack. Wow. What's a slayer? Oh, wait, what was my task? Cows. Perfect. Very nice. 1664 experience out of that. We just got a second step easy casket. Let's open this bad boy. Black pickaxe and black axe. Both of those are upgrades. That's freaking insane. I'm pretty sure that's like super rare from a freaking easy clue scroll as well. Like super rare. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Heck yeah. Definitely satisf satisfied with that. We gave the stray dog and Barack a pet for a task. Oh, look at that. We can now pick a new region. Uh, but I think I'm going to skip out on Taranwin. I wanted to do Zora, but after thinking about it, oh man, these choices are so tough. I wish they gave us one more unlock. So I'm going to go Great Karend for the first one, for sure. Then we have a lot of stuff to do on Great Karend. Nice little task. Chop 100 willow logs there. Not too bad at all. Okay, we almost got 4k cash. We're going to buy ourselves a fire staff quickly. One cast left and we finished them off. For some nature runes, darn it. We did not get the drop that we needed. Oh, equip a mithril weapon that was a task as well. So one inventory of maple logs into longbows gives us 
almost 15,000 fletching experience. I think I'm going to stick with willows because you get the willows so much faster than the maples. There's 500 total level and we are getting a fire making level almost every single log. 30 fire making. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, so we just got 40 points for doing the struggling sapling event. First time I've ever done that. Seems pretty nice. We also did like a barbershop mini game. That was all right too, but we didn't get a challenge for that. 25 combat for another 10 point task. There's an adamant axe. If we leave here with that, I'll still be pretty happy.